Hi guys, this is Rich with Wild Wonderful Weekends, and I wanted to tell you today about a new firmware update that's coming down the line for the CAF Biosense next month, which will be December 2024. And uh, this is going to be a major, major update. In my opinion, it's going to be one of the most important firmware updates that they've given us so far. And they have made good on all of their previous promises for firmware updates, and even though that isn't exactly convenient, and this camera should have worked right out of the box the way that it's slowly getting to now, at least they are standing by their product and making these updates pretty regularly. So now we have variable bit rate, we have variable frame rate and resolution, uh, we've got variable white balance selection that we can make when we determine or, or select from the menus whether we're shooting in a sunny outdoor environment, a dim outdoor environment, sun, uh, bright indoors or dim indoors, things like that, that affects white balance. Um, they've given us an audio fix and I, I've played around with that a little bit. I use an external mic so the difference isn't very pronounced but when I just use the camera mic I do see that it, the audio quality has definitely improved some. So now what they're going to give us, uh, I actually emailed them earlier today and uh, just uh, they, they sent me an email about the most recent firmware update and I installed it and I thanked them for the information and I said, do you know if there will eventually be any exposure control capabilities with this camera? Even a simple over under exposure would be nice. And they said that they're pleased to inform me that this feature is planned to be implemented in the firmware version scheduled for release within December. So again, December 2024, we should be getting that new firmware update that will give us some exposure control on this camera which is a good thing. I recently took this camera out to try to maybe test its limits a little bit to a Christmas lights event that they have here at one of the baseball fields. And um, I'll, I'll put some of the images and video up on the screen that I took. And you'll see that even though it isn't terrible, this is after I did everything I could in post to recover some of the blown highlights from the video. Because without any exposure control, the camera's trying to decide on its own what correct exposure should be. And it's just letting way too much light in. So it blows the blacks in the, in the night sky and the surrounding area, and it way overexposes the Christmas lights so that they're blown out. But anyway, getting that new exposure control feature will help out a ton. And really at that point, I think this is gonna be a, a really nice, really complete uh, camera. And I don't know if you've been checking out any of the DOVR links that I've been putting in my descriptions of other videos, but I've been getting some pretty decent videos for that channel, so much so that they've decided to give me a feature this week, and uh, they've set my account there to premium. So I really appreciate anybody that's actually uh, went and checked out my channel and gave me some views there. It means a lot to me. And uh, as more firmware updates come down the, the line, I will test them out and keep you posted on those. And hopefully, like I say, we'll, we'll have a really well-rounded camera after this last update. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.